If you're gonna put in all that hard work, you don't wanna just sit there and watch it go to waste. Just because you finish a huge project in the lawn doesn't mean the work stops there. If you remember, we undertook a major landscaping project in the back lawn at the new house earlier this summer. And since then, I have had to be very diligent on tackling Bermuda grass, other grasses and other weeds from taking over those mulched areas from where I tore out all that Bermuda grass sod. So today on Budget Lawns, I'm gonna tell you about three mistakes you're probably making when it comes to trying to keep your mulched areas weed and grass free. Here's mistake number one. You wouldn't go tee off on the first tee of a golf course with a baseball bat, would you? No, that's crazy. You gotta have the right equipment. And to do this, you gotta have the right product. You know me, I love my Spectricide Weed Stop for Lawns products. I like Spectricide products in general. I've even got the Spectricide Bug Stop Home Barrier. But for this product, you have to have a weed and grass killer. Not a weed killer for lawns, but a weed and grass killer. This is a non-selective herbicide that will kill anything it touches, weeds and grass. This is a selective herbicide. It will kill weeds, but not grass. Safe for lawns, not safe for lawns. To kill all those pesky weeds and grasses in your mulched areas, you need something that will kill everything. So make sure you get a non-selective herbicide, weed and grass killer. Mistake number two, you're just not spraying the product enough. You have to go out in the lawn frequently, walk your mulched areas, and zap the weeds and grass you see with your weed and grass killer. I'm all sweaty right now. I just mowed. I make it a point to every time I mow or every other time, especially when I'm seeing more weeds and grass than usual, to walk those mulched areas and hammer the heck out of everything I see. The problem is with a lot of people, what they do is they just let it get out of control. And then it becomes a daunting task that they don't want to tackle. Their mulched areas are overcome with weeds and grasses and they just can't get a grip on it. Stay consistent, walk the mulched areas frequently and hit something every time you see it and that stuff will go away. All right, before we get to the last thing you're screwing up, I wanna take you in the backyard and show you I ain't trying to brag, but for the first season, it sure is looking good. Quick look at the front lawn. I know some of you have been asking, hey, what's going on in the front lawn? Nothing. I mentioned a long time back that I was trying to get a big project done on it. I've been mowing the front once every week, maybe every two weeks, you know, just to keep the neighbors happy, but not putting a lot of effort into it. No fertilization, no watering, whatever rain it gets, that is it. All right, here we go. This is the big project I was talking about. Lots of mulch here, folks. Cut this out. All oh, this was Bermuda grass sod. We did put a landscape fabric weed barrier under the rocks, but not anywhere under the mulch. And I know what some of you are gonna say. You're gonna say, well, you just got wide open mulch spaces. Well, that's easy to take care of weeds and grass because you can see it real easily. Yeah, maybe the plan is for all this to be ground cover. But until then, I don't want it to be overtaken by Bermuda or any other weeds and grasses. And if you'll remember back in some of those other videos that right along here where I tore all the Bermuda out and even up in here, I'm telling you y'all, doesn't matter how well you tear the Bermuda out, it will find a way to come back. But I have successfully eradicated it by doing exactly what we're talking about in this video. I mean, look, this is a first year lawn. Rotary mode, we're somewhere around two and a half inches. <sighs> I mean, what can I say? couple rounds of fertilizer, mainly some rain, watering a little bit, but just doing the basics. Mowing twice a week, getting the proper amount of water, fertilization, no weed control. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, back to the topic at hand. 
here's your third and final mistake. You might just be being a little bit too kind to those weeds. Don't be so gentle. Squirt the heck out of this stuff. They're your arch nemesis, right? Get rid of it. I know some people will say, well, it doesn't take a whole lot. Look, I'm making sure I'm coating those weeds and those grasses, and they're not making it through it. And look, every time you make your rounds through your mulched areas, if you see even the slightest bit of green, in something that you've already hit, hit it again. One application might not be enough. Come on, let me show you a few examples. Here's some Bermuda peeking through. I am going to make sure this little guy doesn't stand a chance. My lucky number's four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna give it just a little dribble dribble down into the mulch so that will work its way down even further into the plant. Look, this is what you call a ready to use product. I don't have to mix it with water. I don't have to put it into any other kind of sprayer. Just use the sprayer right off the product and spray it onto the weed or the grass. And the rest is history. Oh, look, here's another. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Not up in here. Oh. Now, this area up here around the electrical box and the fiber pedestals was an absolute nightmare before I did this project. And this is where I'm finding a lot of the weeds. Now there's one there, there's one there, and a few others. Look, I know you might want to see an after result, but I'm not coming back in a week or so and showing you an after result. Just take my word for it. After I shoot these things here in a minute, these things are going to die. Here's a piece of Bermuda that I got maybe, I don't know, a week ago, crisp, gone, nothing, it's dead. Look, if you do what I'm saying, it's going to take care of your problem, but you have to stay on it. So let's uh, let's uh, get these little guys here, and they're driving me nuts. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, sorry, buddy. All right, that looks good. Look, I know it sounds like a hassle having to do this all the time. But I'm telling you, it beats the heck out of the hassle that you'll have if you don't do this. And then you have a much bigger problem on your hands. All right, y'all. That is it. There is no reason you should be dealing with any more weeds or unwanted grasses in your mulched areas. Just make sure you have the right product. It has to say weed and grass killer and get on a good schedule with it. Do it often. The more you do it, you'll start noticing that fewer and fewer weeds and grasses are popping up. And don't be so shy with the product. You want to kill it right, go heavy. And if you have to do more than one application, make sure you do that as well. That is going to do it for this edition of Budget Lawns. If you found this video helpful, come on now, help me out. That helps me help you. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below, and I hope to see you next time.